Hello Cancer, hope y'all are doing well. This is going to be a general mid-March reading. Um, we're just going to do the rest of March. We're not going to do like the 15th through the 31st or anything like that. Just the rest of March, Cancer. Any information you need, you can find it down below. All right. I have personals open. I have three different options. They're starting at $20. Anyone who is interested, details are in the description, as I said. So we're going to go ahead and start here for you, Cancer. See what you're getting for mid-March. What's the main energy surrounding Cancer in the rest of March? Main energies surrounding Cancer in the rest of March. Okay, Eight of Cups. You're gonna, you've already left something behind. Is how this is feeling to me. They're just, it wasn't bringing anything to the table. It wasn't serving you on any level. I think it was actually draining you. Um, so yeah, I think that it was just like, wow. There's this, there's this big void here, and I'm, you know, I'm pouring into this, and nothing. I'm getting nothing back. I need to leave it. Seven of Pentacles. This is not worth my time, effort, energy. Like this is not a worthwhile investment. So yeah, I think that you were um, leaving something behind here, Cancer. So Seven of Wands is showing up as well. I see you blocking someone or something out here. Let's see what else we have. But the thing is that I feel like this is multiple people, multiple like relationships, um, investments, things of that nature. I feel like you're just really revamping everything, Cancer. It's like your whole image is changing here, um, like changing on the physical. You're like, instead of spending time doing this, I'm going to spend time doing something else, you know. Um, I'm going to spend time doing something that's more productive with that Seven of Pentacles energy, something that I want to be proud of myself for. Um, you know, so Seven of Wands, I feel like you're really setting some hard boundaries with, with others and yourself. Eight of Swords, King of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, wow. Major improvements here, okay? Major improvements with the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Wands energy. I feel like you're able to I feel like you're able to look back uh, at this Eight of Swords energy here when you felt stuck on something, when you felt trapped, or when you felt limited, lost, you know, just not very confident at all. I feel like you're stepping into a confident energy, and the, like that's what the King of Wands is. He's somebody who's determined to make things happen. You're putting in a lot of work, and I feel like it's paying off with that Ten of Pentacles. That's the best money card in the deck, Cancer. Keep that in mind. Um, keep that in mind, but your confidence is changing basically. And I feel like it's because you're choosing uh, to do things differently here. You're choosing to do things differently. I feel like your image is changing. Your vibration is changing. Like you're operating at a much higher level. You're feeling really, really good, really strong, really strong cancer. I love this energy. I absolutely do. But the 10 of swords is on the bottom of the deck and the five of the five of wands, I don't really love that energy. Um, so, ten of swords showing up here. I feel like this is what you've ended for sure. Uh, the people you've ended things with. I think that's who's showing up in this five of wands energy as well. Ace of cups, knight of swords, six of cups. There's your past. I mean, there it is. Like, you've ended this. You've ended this. Um, you know, and you've detoxed yourself of this energy with the ace of cups showing up. You want nothing to do with it. And um, the Knight of Swords is showing up here. So this looks like fast communication. Could be from a Scorpio or from somebody you've known, or a Gemini, or from somebody you've known since childhood. But it feels like multiple people can't, yeah, multiple people here, Cancer. You have the world showing up. You have strength showing up. Um, you know, you're shocking people here. I feel like there, there are people who are in disbelief about what it is that you're doing here because maybe you are one of those people that everyone felt like you were never going to set the proper boundaries, you know? I hate to word it like that, but that's the only way that it's coming through here. And Eight of Wands, like there's a lot of fast movement towards you here because there's some stability that people are seeing. They're craving that. They're craving that. And that's what's going on in the Strength card as well. They're wanting... These are people who have had power or influence over you before. And now with the world showing up, you're in this rejuvenated energy. Not to mention the world is a Saturn card. Saturn talks about like discipline, restriction, uh, you know, strength. Um, lessons and strength card is showing up here as well. Discipline, right? Um, I like, I may want this, but I don't need it. I don't need it. And, uh, the six of cups energy, this could be like, you know, cousins, siblings, old friends. It doesn't have to be romantic connection per se, but I think that you have just really cut out things that are not good for you. People that are not good for you. Uh, people that use and abuse you and people, you know, I feel like there's just so many, so many things that you spend a lot of time, effort, and energy on and emotion emotion to like these are people you really care for they did you wrong or they just didn't encourage you they didn't encourage you in the right ways or they didn't even attempt to encourage you maybe you were one of those friends who were always like calling texting making all the plans you know doing all the comforting and then when it was time you know when, when you needed that it, you, you never had it right so I feel like these are people that you'd really just stopped giving energy to habits you stopped giving energy to um, I feel like things are really turning around because of that cancer so yeah, um, I think that you're going to be in a brand new energy here and 
be smart about that, okay? Keep moving forward with it because there are returns taking place here. There are returns happening from multiple people in multiple areas of your life. This isn't just an X reading or anything like that. Like these are karmic connections where you were meant to, you were meant to learn these boundaries from these people. So keep pushing forward here, Cancer. Um, you know, there are going to be people who are in shock who are going to challenge you with that five of uh, wands energy. They are. They're going to challenge you. They're going to challenge your boundaries and push you and make you feel guilty and all of that. And keep keep moving towards your happiness. Stay in that eight of cups energy. Stay in that eight of cups energy. If anything, this should just show you and further confirm that you made the right choice, you know. Uh, so I hope that this was helpful, Cancer. I do have personals open. Details are in the description box for anyone who's interested. But if this is where we part, thank you for watching this far. Uh, I really appreciate you and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.